Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be testing out five vintage DIY life hacks from 1949. I found these in a copy of Calling All Girls magazine from 1949. Calling All Girls magazine was published from 1941 to 1949 by the infamous Parents magazine to capitalize on the teen girls magazine trend. It's a great look into what life for a teen girl may have been like in the 1940s, and if you're interested in seeing more from this issue, I do have a full flip through video and a blog post with background and images that I will link below. So what I'm testing out today is called Tricks for Teens, which offered girls $1 for each trick that was published, which is about $10 today. Most of them are DIY crafts, and I thought it was just such a cool idea, and it really reminded me of the current life hack trend where people share different DIYs online. I wanted to see how these tips have stood the test of time, aka 71 years. So in total, there are seven tips, but I'm just gonna be testing out five of them today because the last two have kind of become obsolete. Pattern pointer calls for taking an old phonograph record album to make a book to hold your sewing patterns, but obviously most stores today do not carry phonograph albums, so I couldn't really do that one. And then also breakage zero calls for attaching an elastic to your bra strap or dress strap to stop it from breaking. Today, most bra straps contain spandex, so they're super stretchy and therefore breakage is not really an issue. However, if you do have some vintage bras or straps, this could be super useful to you, so just keep that one in mind. The first one that I'm testing today is Head Highlights, which was submitted by Peggy Barbharm from Columbia, South Carolina. It reads, make your own fancy bobby pins, paint the Roberts with nail polish, and draw the pin through the shanks of a fancy decorative button. First of all, hearing them called Roberts was really funny to me, I never heard that. And I also forgot to grab buttons, so I just painted them. I tried both glitter and solid nail polishes. I definitely like the look of the solids better. Overall, this was an easy hack and it came out just as expected. So the second hack is called A Shady Yarn by Rory Perella from Trenton, New Jersey. It says, for a neat and inexpensive reconversion job on a lampshade, you'll need yarn. Blanket yarn is the easiest to use because it's heavy, and a pot of glue. Dust the shade thoroughly, then starting at the top, cover an inch of the shade with an even coat of glue. Wind the yarn single strand around the shade, keeping it firmly in place until the glue has set. Continue down the shade, first gluing, then winding your yarn over the glued area until you have the shade completely covered. A solid color is nice, but you can have a pleasing variation by alternating different colors. So for this one, I bought some nice thick yarn and tacky glue instead of a pot just because it's easier to apply. I found this one really quick and easy to do, and I think it looks awesome. I was really impressed with this one, and I think it's ahead of its time. So thank you for that one, Miss Rory. The third one is called Closet Glamour. This one is by Terry and McGann from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She says, to glamorize your hat and shoe boxes, cover them with gay shelf paper, on matching edging around the lids and boxes. This one I did take some liberties. I found that shelf paper was a little bit expensive, so I decided to just use some leftover holiday wrapping paper. I measured it by tracing the sides with a marker and then I cut it out, and then I used some tape to seal it. This one came out really cute, and I think it would be a great way to organize your closet in style as suggested. I also think it would be a good idea to use as eco-friendly reusable gift box. Overall, this one is definitely another vintage success. This next one is called Penny Pinchers by Joanne Curlin from Dugsville, Pennsylvania. When you're in the mood, you can have fancy frames for your glasses. Get narrow scotch tape, which comes in plaids in various designs, and cover the frames with it. When you have a change of mood, it's very easy to remove the tape. I tried this one out with washi tape on both sunglasses and regular glasses. I found that it worked really good on the straight part, but the curved part, it didn't stick very well and therefore stuck in my hair when I tried to put them on. So if you're going to do this yourself, I would recommend just doing it on the straight part. 
it actually looks really cute, and I think it's a great way to show how consumer culture has really increased in modern years. With the advent of fast fashion, we can now buy whatever style we want, whenever we want. But back in the 1940s, people generally had less clothing and accessories, so this was a great way for them to change up the style. And I think that it can be useful today as we're becoming more aware of the impacts of fast fashion and how to help us consume less. The last life hack is called Sparkle Plenty, and it's from Bernal Stein from University City, Missouri. Add glitter to a small, inexpensive picture frame by painting it your favorite color. While the paint is still wet, sprinkle sequins on the frame. The result is better if you use the sequins sparingly. Then make sure you pop out the glass while painting to make sure you don't paint that my mistake. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. I decided to pack the glitter in the corners and disperse it lightly out to create a fun little effect. This was another fun one to do, and I think it looks great even 71 years later. Also just a little PSA, when you take the glass out, put it on a table or something because I had mine on the floor and I stepped on it, so don't do that. But overall, yeah, another great DIY. So those are the five vintage DIY life hacks from 1949. I think it really highlights that although a lot has changed over 70 years, some things just haven't. I'll be linking my blog post down below with the links to what I used if you're interested in trying any of these for yourself. And thank you guys so much for watching!